Okay, so it's Sunday morning. I'm out here at the Pomona Auto Swap Meet. I brought my Mustang, which I finally got over to my mother's and put a new fuel pump in the other day. My sister borrowed it, and then like three days later, the fuel pump went out. So I'd been sitting in my mother's driveway for a while. Went over there and did that. Passed smog two days ago and got it registered for another year. And uh, so here we are. But the, one tip for Pomona, if you have a... Uh, certain car, it's on the list. Even if it's a newer model, you can actually come park in the car corral for 30 bucks and it costs the same price as if um, you parked in the regular parking lot and then you paid $15 to enter. So it still works out to 30 bucks. Um, but let's go check out what's at the uh, swap meet this time. Okay, so the swap meet, here's the Mustang. If you haven't seen it before on the channel, I take it to Redwood. I've never done a feature video on the car. I've owned it about six years. Bought it before people really started caring much about Fox bodies. But um, it's been a good car. It's got a loaner car. It's only got about uh, 86,000 miles on it currently. Um, so it's not as, as busy as it was at the last one. Of course, the last one was the first one since it came back. And there's a train going in the background. Um, they are requiring you bring a card that says you got stabbed in the arm twice and they're requiring you wear face masks. I shot the intro, I parked the car so far away from everyone that no one's going to care uh, since I wasn't standing around anybody. Uh, so be warned if you come, and the, unless they change the regulations, it's an LA County thing. If there's an event where they're expecting more than 10,000 people, you have to wear a face mask, so just know that. I'm going to start over here. I'm really hoping I'm hope far away enough from uh, the blasting music uh, over on the other side. A um, bunch of Cadillacs here, 60s Cadillacs. Um, if you like Cadillacs, check out my video from Casual Concourse that I shot yesterday. I'm hoping it's up today. I've had to upload it three times before I got it to clear without any copyright strikes. So it's actually sitting on my computer at home. I just got to fill out all the details and then it will post to YouTube. So that video will most likely go up before this one, and I'll try to get this one up uh, after that, maybe even the same day. So it's all Cadillacs and then uh, one Lincoln Mark V. I've owned a few of these, they drive really well. And I think last time we didn't walk around much of the Volkswagen area. I should be able to get some more stuff this time as I started preferring to do longer videos, which some people will watch them. You can pick and choose. You can watch what you like, what you don't watch, what you don't like, that sort of thing. But uh, a lot of cars here still, even though it's obviously not as big as it was. Last time, the whole, all the way the back in each section was full. And this side's definitely a little bit more mellow. This is actually the first time I parked in the car corral area probably since the 90s. Um, I used to bring my old 68 Pontiac Tempest here many years ago. After I learned the car corral trick. This one's a patinaed uh, bus. So I was saying I went to Casual Concourse yesterday. I got up at 3.30 in the morning, drove to Palm Springs, hit that show. I was out in the hot sun all day filming that. Then I had the 56 Cadillac there, which finally is making it to the channel. So it's my dad's car originally back in the 90s. He bought it back in the 90s. And uh, we shot that and then uh, went and got my trailer at my buddy Chuck's because I had to go pick up a 59 Ford and uh, picked up the trailer and then uh, brought it back to my house. So I've got to go get the Ford sometime this week and maybe move the Coronet over to my old shop. So I've got a busy weekend ahead of me and I actually have to pick up my daughter after this. So, But I fit all this stuff in the schedule just to bring you these amazing videos that you love so much. To the front line of the Volkswagens in this transport. There's a great, if you go far enough back in my channel, I've got a, a video of the Octo Meet at the Long Beach Veterans Stadium. It's almost about a year old video now, I imagine. This one's a, a Mexican uh, transporter. But, uh, it's basically a whole video just full of Volkswagen transporters. 
So if that's your thing, go check it out. It's a great show over here too, so. Personally, my Volkswagen expertise is three, I own three Beetles, one Beetle-based dune buggy, and two Vanigans. That's about the extent of my knowledge on uh, of, what, of what I've owned on Beetles. So I've actually owned quite a few Beetles, even though I'm not necessarily a Volkswagen guy. And check out this uh, Porsche 914. There was actually two of these at the Casual Concours yesterday. Uh, four-cylinder and a six-cylinder that's a great show because you get a lot of like nice mid-century obscure cars there uh, like you know 50s through 70s cars that you don't normally see at a show so that's really what's great is check out this pontoon fender mercedes could be yours for ten thousand no what is he what nine thousand I'm not sure the market on these, so I'm not going to say anything because I know years ago they were they weren't wanted, and I know since they've they've actually become popular. So they're a lot more popular than they were years ago. Let's check out this General Lee coming through. I still have my General Lee uh, Dukes of Hazard lunchbox from when I was a kid. Oh, and if you like the General Lee, look on my channel. There's a video of a General Lee standing straight up on its end at an art museum. I, I swear it's on there. I'll put a card in the top if, if, if I remember. If not, look on my channel. It's definitely there. It's, it's actually, it's not a real 69 Charger, but they took a Coronet, rebodied as a Charger, but did it up like the General Lee and it's standing up on its end. The lowriders are always popular out here as well. This one's a 61 Cadillac Coupe de Ville for 16,800. I actually used to be a dealer for these uh, Lance scooters. I used to sell those. Not sure which one that is. There's the the ones the earlier ones are aren't very good, but the later ones uh, when SYM built them are the ones to find. Check out some Impalas. Yeah, I'm just gonna freestyle. Check out this uh, '66 Chevelle wagon. A lot of the cars that come to this one now are not for sale or. Like, I, if someone offered me money on my Mustang, I'd probably entertain a high offer on it, if a Pomona price, if you will. But uh, it's been a good car, and this one, the 67 Monterey, could be yours for 22.5. Convertible. But uh, it's been a good car, and driven it to the Bay Area a couple times, and various Radwood events. I am selling my Cougar though, and that's been a, just a parade of tire kickers. And in fact, I had an agreement with a guy who was going to buy the car for a certain price, and then he he just just ghosted me after we went back and forth a bunch of times and agreed on a price. And check out this Impala. And obviously, I can't bring you everything that's here because there's just so many vehicles that show up to this and then I can't bring you the ones that are parked anywhere near where there's any music. Uh, yes, like I said, the video from yesterday I had to do three times process it and upload it, which takes a long time just because of 10 seconds of one Captain and Tennille song. So right now I'm not a huge fan of the Kidnap Captain and Tennille. It's always neat to see one of these old trucks with the old camper on the back because you always see these people find them and the first thing you do is they yank that camper off and sell the camper but uh you need to see someone actually left one on for once and uh got some more music i'm gonna walk past this quickly so you look at this cool econoline pickup and a neat pop top uh chevrolet camper could be used for 15,000. Try to show this. It's got some rust on the front. 
these are quite rare they are quite valuable but that rust definitely does hurt things in in my opinion but uh neat 68 chevy uh pop top complete with slot mags look at this uh, 62 impala This one's only got 44,000 original miles for 42,000. The early international scout. Come on here. Very original uh, Mustang 2 plus 2. And you'd be amazed I put the Cougar up for sale. I put runs and drives great. You may I've actually gotten three people. But why are you asking so much? It doesn't run. It's like yes it does. I in fact I went and got a pizza in it today. So I told one guy, I said it runs fine. Read the ad. <laughs> it's a neat little uh, C10 short bed. Complete with a big block. The Antique Nationals is today as well out at Irwindale. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm able to make that because I already told my uh, ex I'd pick up the kid after I got done here. Although my ex doesn't get up until usually. 10 or 11 o'clock on the weekends so but uh, most likely I won't be able to hit that I'm sure somebody else is going to film that for YouTube so it'll be on there let's clean up his Grand Prix getting ready to sell it got an early Mustang no price on this one it's a 289 car very original. Yeah, it's like the vinyl top car as well. These are nice because pretty much anything you can think of on this car is available brand new. Which makes it very easy to uh, restore. Here's a 71 F100 long bed bump side pickup. A 49 Studebaker. That was a neat uh, bullet nose last time in the last last Pomona video I shot, which was actually the first Pomona video I ever shot for for the swap meet. That is, and then uh, it wound up on Marketplace a few days later for more money. So it might have changed hands a few times. Short bed uh, Chevy, 58, for 7,900. It's about what I sold my long bed 58 for, I don't know, about 10 years ago. And that was a decent truck. And the guy still tore it apart and restored it. In fact, I used to use it to deliver scooters at my shop. And some of the customers got a kick out of it. It's a 283 with a, uh, four speed with a granny in it and the original drum brakes which made it fun for driving around LA the heavy clutch it's a really clean Cadillac original license plates this one's a 83 53,000 original miles for 15,000 well they would love that in Palm Springs so we're going to Palm Springs it's a 4100 car unfortunately there are a few guys that have tried to LS swap these but the climate control is keyed into the computer for the the computer for the engine so unfortunately it makes hooking up the climate control a bit of a problem Neat old panel truck. 
This is a 37 GMC for 5500. Needs pretty much everything. I don't know what other events that we have coming up. I know we have like, the Mopar Fall Fling is back. I believe that's next month. So I'll be heading to that. And the, so we got SEMA Lemons Rally, which we're still trying to do. Uh, if my friends will fill out the form online for the for their part of the Lemons Rally, then we could actually do it. So it's 59 El Camino. But, uh, I'm still trying to make SEMA. I think I might, I might even just head out there for a day even though you can't shoot it all in a day. And the cars just keep rolling in. I will say it was definitely more crowded last time, but it might have been because it was the first time they'd, they'd done it in so long. All right, now for something completely different. We got a uh, Pinto, shortened Pinto convertible. My guess is this was built probably in the 70s or 80s. And uh, very strange car. Not for sale though, but definitely unique. Here's a nice uh, 69 Camaro. And 56 uh, 210 for 20,000. I remember in the 90s, I almost bought one of these for Fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Six cylinder, three speed on the tree. It's a nice '63 Galaxy for twenty-three thousand. I'll hopefully be picking up that '59 Galaxy either this week or next week. I gotta text the guy, see what his schedule's like. He has to clear out some other stuff that's around it first, and we'll get that moved out of there. And it's a neat. Uh, Fury 3 right here is Plymouth, early 70s. This is one of those cars you just don't see anymore. A little bit of rippling on the uh, quarter there. And that vinyl top was uh, obviously replaced at some point. But uh, sort of an unusual car. I like the weird stuff. If you haven't, can't tell by some of these videos. I bought a very 80s Grand Marquis. I actually saw one of these getting towed in downtown LA within the last week. $4,900 for an 82 marquee. I can honestly say it's probably the cleanest one I've seen in quite some time. Got a uh, Chevy uh, big block uh, C20. Little C10 uh, project truck. Corolla. A 60 Chevy Impala appears to be pretty pretty solid. Not sure if it has a drivetrain in it. The front end looks a little high. Now I can see in there there's no drivetrain. But uh, no price on it. I'm still looking for a 59 Ford wheel and Honestly, the prices people are asking, I was like, are you sure it's on an Impala one? A little bit of rust right there in the quarter. I 
There's kind of a barn finds a 42 Chevy two door. With the original uh, six cylinder. Could be used for 6,500. A little bit of rust poking through there. Yeah, this one looks like it's been sitting out in the desert for a few years. There's a 64 Land Rover for 10,000. The uh, early 50 Chevy with an old uh, tune port small block in it. Complete with uh, horns on the roof. This is a uh, 409. 63 Impala for 125,000 with a four speed. Very interesting car. Show under the hood here. The two four barrel carburetors. And a 67 Mustang. with a 390 FE in it. This one he's asking 95,000 on. That was an automatic. A uh, 48 Ford cab over. Chevy uh, panel. This is kind of neat. It's a uh, 52 Chevy. 13,000. It's got a, a custom bed he put on here to haul his motorcycle. Which is also for sale. <laughs> That's what I want to do with my van. I want to well, no, I want to put chocks in there so I can haul scooters and motorcycles around by the Econo line. A 49 Buick. It's kind of hard to shoot these because they left these barricades here. A uh, tin woody. 49 for 24,000. Chevy Coupe for twenty-two thousand. Got a uh, forty-eight Ford four-door. This one's uh, nineteen thousand five hundred. Chevy Suburban. The Impala. And a 61. That's starting to fill in now. You can get your barbecue on at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. This was at uh, the Long Beach Swap. walking around cars keep rolling in 
Metro. It's got an early uh, Chrysler Hemi in it. It's a neat Packard. It's a 1930. Could be yours for, what's it say, 56000 A nice uh, 55 Dodge 2 hardtop Royal Lancer, 18,500, with a uh, very unoriginal badge. I'm guessing it's got a uh, modern Hemi in it. No, it says a two. Oh no, it's it's got it's all modernized. Tina Chevy. It's a uh, 39 Ford sedan delivery. And if you like 39 40 Fords, uh, they shot the 40 Ford show last week. Despite the fact mine is not on the road yet. is one of the reasons why I'm selling my Cougars to pay to get that on the road and possibly something else. So I'm going to walk through the Corvette area which is actually kind of small. There's definitely a lot less cars this time than last time. Unfortunately. I don't know. It might be because the Antique Nationals is today. It might be because of the requirements for the card. Or it might just be because it's just not the initial excitement of Pomona returning that they had with the last event. But usually most of these areas are completely filled with cars. It's a LT1 Stingray. I said a lot of newer Corvettes these days. I remember coming here in the 90s and it was mostly Stuff like that 60s, uh, 67 over there. And occasionally you'd see a newer Corvette, like a C4. So of course I'm talking early 90s. But, uh, it's a very pretty green. So I'm going to show this Falcon and this uh, Ranchero. I still have the red one. It's still in my driveway. I'm trying to make some room so I can pull the motor out of it. As I've got cars stacked in my driveway right now. I um, thought about selling that instead of the Cougar. But uh, I just thought the Cougar would be easier to sell because it's a running driving car. But apparently not so. Last few cars I sold on offer up, they sold very quickly. Here's a, a neat little hot rod with a little six cylinder in it. It's got a, a timing chain for a, a steering wheel. A lot of custom work on this one. A 35 Ford, this is make offer. Yeah, obviously has like a metal shop or something. Nice 57 Nomad. Yeah. Model T Ford. Let's 
a uh, Plymouth. I must have just parked here, his radiator fan still blowing. Nice uh, 48 shove. Or 12,800. Very original car. I like the original stuff. As I was saying, at the last one, this would have all been filled in with cars. There wasn't any empty spaces to be found. Yeah, 56. No mad. Nice Mercury. San Francisco. I know I shot this at one of the events. It might have been the... Long Beach swap me with the metal flake on that Chevy. Maybe it was here last time, I don't remember. <laughs> it's all a blur. I haven't changed it. It's a really nice shape. I didn't if you watched the last Pomona video I shot, there was a 59 Impala convertible for 78000 that was just destroyed. And here's a 60 for 85,000 that appears to be a running and driving car, which is a much greater improvement over that 59 in the uh, last Pomona video. I think that car got probably the most comments of any of them because it was pretty obvious that car wasn't worth anywhere near $78,000. Pretty 56. This uh, 56 Ford pickup is very, very orange. Have a look at this. A very nice paint job on it. So I was thinking about offer up in the last few cars I sold. I sold the two Mavericks on there. And I had no problem selling those. Those were gone quickly. I, I thought I'd put them up at a fair price and sold them at a fair price. But uh, this Cougar seems to be a pain. Despite that it's already a V8 car, it's got front discs and a factory sunroof, so... Still working on it. Oh, yeah. Very pretty uh, Plymouth station wagon. 54. I used to have a 55 uh, two door sedan Plymouth Plaza. I used to have a lot of fun with that car. It was a nice, nice driver. Here's a pretty Woody. This is a I believe, 51 Country Squire. 
Nice uh, built flathead with uh, three carburetors. For 65,000. Cadillac, a uh, 55 Chevy wagon, it's like an, I don't think it's original paint, that's just an older paint job, it's kind of faded into something kind of interesting, might be original paint, they just, they just clear coated over it, but uh, we can be, debate that all morning, but uh, not going to do it. walk through some more of these cars over here. This is actually the pre, the 59 and older section. So there's that, and I believe it's the 85 and older section. Then there's sort of like an anything goes section. As long as it's on the list, such as the Mustang. And then there's the Volkswagen section, which we already shot. This is definitely not a 57 Chevy, but that's what it says on the thing. <laughs> But uh, it's a very nice Plymouth wagon, nonetheless. So Model A, a 56. Yeah. It's a neat Chevy. My favorite's the people that posted on my 40 Ford barn find video that I should paint it. <laughs> and if you're looking at this car, you know why I'm not going to paint it. Because uh, I just like that cool look. The as found look. Five original sedan. And a very original 56 sedan. I used to run around a 57 that was original. I got from the original owner's daughter, in fact, about 20 years ago. Over 20 years ago. It's the only car I've ever been questioned from DMV when I said I paid 500 on it and I was full of grease from working on it to try to drive it home. So I said, yeah, I've been working on it all day. It's not running. And so she said, fine. So I guess if you ever don't want to get questioned by DMV about a $500 quote-unquote car, make sure you're covered in grease from working on it. It's a neat 57 Skyliner. A 55 Ford. back there that's mostly a lot of the car clubs in the back way over there that's usually where all the car clubs park most of that stuff's not for sale 
usually, occasionally there's something back there. Most of the for sale stuff gets parked in the front. But uh, honestly, there hasn't been a, I'd say there's been a way more cars not for sale than, than for sale this time. Years ago, I think it was probably about 75% for sale and about 25 not not for sale, probably back in the 90s when I used to come to this. cars we got a uh, 69 Pontiac Trans Am Firebird oh, it has the build sheet so it's a genuine car for 75,000 looks to be original original unrestored car with a 455 someone put a 455 in it but no. I think there was only like six or seven hundred of those made, if I recall correctly. The 70 El Camino. Let's see what he's asking for it. This one's a uh, oh, 6,500. I thought it said 1,500. I said, well, that, that should have sold by now if it was 1,500. <laughs> 6,500. I was like, wow, we almost found a good deal at Pomona. Uh, Chevy crew cab there. Uh, be forewarned when you write out your for sale signs, make it look like a six. Because <laughs> if it looks like a one, I might get excited. Now, there's a uh, Ranchero similar to mine, 6465. I'd still like to keep mine as a nice little parts chaser. How about a uh, drag race Pinto? For 7,000. This is in the small gears because tell by the front end that was. That yeah, says I believe it's a 78. That could be a fun car if it was pre smog. It's a 72 Ranch Hero, 5,000. The uh, winds are in it. C10. I always like it when they have the spotlight on the roof. I always thought those were interesting. I realize most of them have gotten filled in over the years. So that's what's left of the wood bed and a pump. It says Chino farm truck since new, 57 thousandths. Here's for 7,250. Still a little rust on the uh, eyebrow there. And a Corvair. I think there's more people waking up and coming out here. I may walk the swap meet parts area on the off chance there's a 59 Ford steering wheel. <laughs> that may be like trying to find a needle in a haystack here though. A Cadillac limousine, eleven thousand. Looks like it needs a restoration. Does not have the divider in it. The ones with the divider windows are generally worth more. Eleven thousand dollars. Oh, Rambler. A little Rambler. I'm obliged to show anything that's a Rambler. We had a great AM. There's a great AMC showing at the uh, casual concourse yesterday. 
Uh, you know anybody need plaque holders, let me know. I got we it. had some of these cool guys. Uh, All right. Nine, 909-921-5447-215. Let's have a new patina Dodge. No price on it, just says make an offer. supposed to buy a similar pickup from my friend Jimmy and then uh, found the 40 Ford so wound up buying that and he was completely understanding I literally walked the whole line it seems like every time I got out of range of somebody playing music there was somebody else playing music so makes it a little difficult to shoot these things but um, there's more cars rolling in still, fortunately. It's still early in the morning. I like the short bed step side. I had a white one of these a few years ago. Had a lot of work done to it. And I sold it. It's another uh, white Fox body. This one's a fastback. So I'm going to try to get this video up today. Usually when I shoot an event like this, I try to get it up within the day. As people are still searching for videos of those events. However, I'm still going to have a video of um, casual concourse going up today because I couldn't get it up this morning because all the you having to go back and edit and re-upload. So as I was saying, I try to get I try to get the videos up of events up generally the day of or the day after. Because that's when people are more likely to be searching for these videos online. I know some of these guys that do these videos, they post them about a week later. And There's a Honda Beat from Japan, a JDM model, a K car, they call them the KEI, -K not K car like a Chrysler K car. This one's uh, $12,000. Beautiful car. They are a bit difficult to register in California, though, because I think we're the only state that hasn't abided by that 25-year rule. You can do it, it's just a little bit more difficult. A nice 57 Thunderbird. All right, I stopped by my car and there was like people wanting to buy it on leaving messages on my windshield and such. I had to change the battery on my uh, camera here. Grab a water and show you this international. This guy was parked next to me. He says people have been coming by the Mustang all day asking if, if he knew if it was for sale. So I guess people do want those Fox body convertibles, darn it. We're gonna walk around some more, show you some more of what's here. And it's already about nine o'clock, so. I've shot a lot of the car show area. I'm not sure if I'm, I don't think I'm gonna make it over to the uh, parts section, because I did promise my ex I would pick up my daughter, so probably around 10 o'clock. So, got this Mustang too. Ooh, the shifter's got a wrench for a shifter on there. Uh, super sport convertible 67 feet with the club I finally found a patch of cars that are away from where people are blasting music. That that actually took some effort today <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Check out this Econoline. 
yellow, which is similar to mine. So the 74, mine's a 73. The country squad, uh, country sedan wagon. I had one of these that went over when I sold it, it went overseas. It was a very tired one, so I'm guessing it probably got restored at some point. There's another fox body similar to mine. There are people are leaving notes on his. And nice uh, Riviera convertible. These, of course, weren't a factory convertible. These were, were done aftermarket. So. He just got enough cover, cover, right? Cover, yeah. Oh, boy. Damn, no. Here's the uh, General Lee Charger we saw coming in earlier. I said, look through my old videos, you'll find the one that's like standing up on its end. And it's kind of worth a look. Sort of interesting art. There's a 61 Cadillac convertible that needs a uh, complete restoration. This one's uh, 7,900. Oh, well, the uh, 65 Chevy. C10. Hey, that's why I've got the, the 52 up on the trailer there. It's a nice 60 CAD convertible. The uh, Monte Carlo G bodies. actually starting to fill in a little bit more now. So in the old days, you used to have to get here really early to get a good spot. Nice old 58. Original Bronco. Didn't wait till we went all the way around. And we're gonna check out the Skylark uh, convertible. No price on it, just says for sale. A 68 Chevy Bel Air wagon. This one's uh, two thousand dollars. It's pretty rough though. I used two of my toes to maybe up in just last month I used two. You can see the uh, swap meet is actually getting more and more full as the uh, day goes on. We got this uh, crew cab Dodge, four by four. It's a '69 Power Wagon for forty-four thousand. I do know the crew cabs are hard to find, as. A lot of them were used for military use. Or like forest rangers and stuff like that. It's an airport right over there, so 
you ever seen anybody shooting drone footage here they are in very much in violation of the law <laughs> one thing i didn't know when i bought my drone is that i think if you're within like 13 miles or 15 miles of an airport you can't even use it there's like all these different rules there's that now there's like ways to get permission but You have to like sign up for certain things and I just haven't done that. Got the 60 Cadillac. But for sure they're never gonna let you fly a drone that close to an airport. <laughs> it's literally right across the street. So if you're thinking about buying a drone, do your research because Especially in like the LA area, there's not a whole lot of places you can actually fly it legally without like special permission. The guys that fly them for like TV and movies, they've got all the certificates and permissions and stuff like that. There's another Buick, similar to that one we saw on the trailer. This one's a lot cleaner. Uh, it ain't even got a price tag on it. Yeah, watch there's a little bit of music if I go too far that way. It's very nice Riviera. Look at this other Buick. Right there, a 63-64 Riviera. And a white 59 Edsel Ranger two-door post. I've actually owned two white 59 Edsel Ranger two-door posts. So it could be yours for 3500 No word if it has, which engine it has in it. This one's a three on the tree, so I'm guessing, guessing it's either got the inline six or the, uh, or probably the 292. All the part, all the, uh, Is that 292 or straight six? Uh, 292. 292. I've owned two of these, so, actually I've had three of these, sorry. I've got two of them also. Yeah. Add to your collection? <laughs> I just bought a 59 Galaxy, so very similar. <laughs> yeah, all the trips in the trunk. I'm very, I'm very full up with cars right now. <laughs> but I had to show it because it's very similar to the 59 Galaxy that I hopefully will pick, be picking up this week. That's what someone's telling me. Some of the parts might be like it. It's the same, yeah. It's kind of broken. You can get the windshield for these, though. Yeah, 400 bucks is what we'll get. Yeah, they are, they are available. Is it a California car, dude? Or uh, yeah. So, that could be yours. Well, this place actually did fill up a little bit with some latecomers later on. Uh, we got this uh, 1963 Chevy station wagon for 7,500. It's a definite project. Says it comes with a title. Last tagged in 1984. a little bit of help but uh you've seen some of the magic some of these guys work with these uh impalas you'll know that's a restorable car here's a uh, 1969 camaro pace car edition the uh, orange stripes and the uh, orange interior with the hound's tooth Chevy Paul Rider. And my ex-wife just texted me when she wants me to come get my daughter. So, have to see what that time is. Very nice 67 El Camino and a uh, C10 short bed. And a very shiny one, I might add. If I'd have known what these were going to go for, I probably would have held on to a few of the ones I had many years ago. Especially the short beds. I think I could see that about a lot of my vehicles. 
very sharp 62 Impala convertible with a uh, matching 64 right behind it. It's very nice 60 convertible. Lots of detail on this one. That's kind of neat. It's an old uh, LA County fire vehicle. Short bed. And of course, he left as much of the uh, decals as he could, I suppose. The other side has more of the decals. One time I bought a 95 Caprice from an auction. It was a City of Escondido Fire Chief car, but it had the police package, the 9C1. And uh, they spray painted over the decals, and I just got some goof off graffiti remover, and it came off, and they were perfect. But I still peeled them off because I didn't want to get in trouble. And for 20,000, you, this 59 Cadillac two door hardtop could be yours, this wonderful Coupe de Ville. Only 20,000. This one's actually kind of buried off into the distance. Most of the dashboard and a lot of the extra pieces are inside. As you can imagine, these get more and more scarce every single year. Back in the 80s, they chopped the back half of these off, a lot of them to make couches for whatever reason, I still don't know. But uh, looks fairly restorable. And of course the 59 Cadillac being a very, very iconic car. There's a 72 Chrysler Newport with a 440 in it. Could be yours for 6,500. I always like filming the weird 70s Mopars because most of this stuff is gone as they were very popular for demolition derby back in the old days. Definitely something a little bit different. How about a 41 Studebaker Commander? This one's kind of hiding out towards the back here in the car corral. And if you like Studebakers, I did shoot a Studebaker show a couple weeks ago. All Studebaker meet down in Anaheim. That video is on the channel. It's pretty recent, so it'll be very easy to find if you go through my old videos. But uh, as you can imagine, this is not a very easy car to restore. This one could be yours for $28,000 for the rebuilt flat six. And that will wrap things up for the October 17th edition of the Pomona Auto Swap Meet out here in Pomona, California. We got lots more automotive content for you coming up on the channel, including I'm gonna go get that uh, 1959 Ford out in the desert. Uh, so be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment as to what your favorite car was, and until next time, I'll be seeing you.